ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming out to Chico Presents the Eno. Please welcome your stage, yeah. your host, Chico. Yeah. 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 I'm sure everybody else is just sitting in traffic, you know, it happens on a Friday night here. So um, we're going to have a great time. We're, we're going to be a small and intense crowd, like a bunch of midgets on a camping trip. Small and intense. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's just going to get worse from there. I'm Mike. I'm Mike, by the way. I'm Matt. I'm Matt. Dennis. Mark. Russell. Matt. It would have been faster for us to just introduce you guys, but, you know, we have a way of doing things here. Um, so tonight we're going to do this little show called the Eno. Uh, before we get started, I just need to tell you that we have some exits around here. We have uh, emergency exit there, emergency exit there. If you are on fire or someone near you is on fire, please feel free to use one of those. There's another exit which conspicuously is missing the exit sign. That's where the door you came in on. That's uh, where the beer is, where the bar is, where the wine is. Uh, have a great time. Drink as much as you like. Uh, get up at any time. We're not going to make fun of you. We're not going to pick on you when you if you have to get up during the show. Uh, just come back because we're going to know if you didn't. Uh, <laughs> also, if, if you need those liquids to leave your body. Yes, you can also go back. The bathrooms are also there. Um, so before we get to reintroduce ourselves, uh, let's let's do a little warm on a count three. I'd just like you guys to just yell out your name. Okay, that's, that's all. Just very simple. All right. Uh, one, two, three. Matt. Yes. Mostly Matt. <laughs> <laughs> all right, a count three. Catch your dogs. One, two, three. Dogs. dogs. Everybody loves dogs. Man, there's never a cat person in here. All right, count, count of three. Which which of us by name? Is better. <laughs> Matt or Matt? <laughs> One, two, three. Matt, All, right. Matt, oh. Matt. Oh. <laughs> All right, pirates and ninjas on three. One, two, three. Pirates. Uh, from uh, this part of the audience. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it goes to zebras. One, two, three. Hey, 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 Dark. From from everybody again. <laughs> Lava or magma? One, two, oh, three. Magma. 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 <laughs> Joan the booth babe, by the way. Woo! <laughs> she controls the locks Turn on the door, <laughs> so be nice to her. Uh, <laughs> see, she unlocked it for that person. Come on in, there we go. We got to leave. We got to leave. Quick question. Lava so or magma? Was it meant to? It's like bad. Small but intense. <laughs> no? Um, so, <laughs> camping trip. so has anyone here, has anyone here heard of Brian Eno before? Yeah. Okay, good. So a nice matter. Don't worry. Oh, it's not, it's it. not important. <laughs> Most of us have it. We're going to show you a little, little piece on him. Uh, we were inspired by these cards that you see laying around. We're going to use those in the second half of the show. Uh, so you don't have to worry about him right now, but uh, let's do a little piece. Let's introduce Brian Eno uh, for a bit. <coughs> Southern England, May 15th, 1948. Brian, Peter, George, St. John, Le Baptiste, De La Salle Eno is born. Brian Eno. Musician, composer, record producer, singer, visual artist, and creator, Brian Eno. <laughs> Brian Eno describes himself as a non-musician, yet he's been a prolific composer, performer, and producer since the 1970s working with some of the top names in the industry. Roxy Music, David Bowie, Talking Heads, U2, Devo, Ultravox, Coldplay, Paul Simon, Grace Jones, Genesis, Ice House, Depeche Mode, Luciano Pavarotti, John Paul Jones, Dido, DJ Spooky, and James. We don't know who James is either. Could be anyone, really. <laughs> Well, anyone whose name is James, at least. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, oh, where was I? Oh, Eno. Eno. Um, Eno coined the term treatments to describe his modification of the sound of musical instruments and to separate his role from that of a traditional instrumentalist. Whatever he calls what he does, you've heard his music and you've enjoyed it. Be inspired! Oh, yeah, 
next too. We're gonna do that in part next. So, so I. Uh, so, so you learn a little fact about Ian. You know, I didn't know that he worked with all those people. I thought that was actually kind of cool. I've seen probably half of those people in concert. I saw you two in concert when I was 14 years old at the opening for the Alarm. Um, and Bono was fat. He was just just hubby Irish guy that was up there. That was one of his characters, right? That was his <laughs> thing. He was so into the it. Fat yeah. fly or and now he fights <laughs> hunger around the world, right? Like that's just. It just seemed That's weird to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, just, I just thought it was interesting that the, the list kind of you know peaked with you know U2 Genesis and then we we're kind of tailing off with he just started working with random guys later in his career. James, yeah. James, James, James Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> it worked its way down. I, think. I don't know. It's like like anybody else would peak somewhere. I think it shows, hey. how, it shows how famous you are that you could just one day just work with a guy named James. Right. You're like, I don't care about money anymore, I'll just work with James. James. You know? <laughs> or you know, fell on hard times and James was the landlord who was like, you don't got the money, you gotta produce my hip hop album. <laughs> 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 I think of James, like, whenever I hear the name James, so it brings back to fourth grade, and James Romagnol was in fourth grade with us. And he, it was like his third time in fourth grade, too, and he was just like, his dude, he was so much bigger than us, and he kind of had that older kid smell already. He only drove, you know. He was so uncomfortable. Older old kids smell. Yeah, was that, like, was that like old, like Irish? Well, I'm in fourth grade. Right? You're in fourth grade. You're nine years old, right? You're nine. Yeah, exactly. I'm like thirteen. You're smelling all the kids. You're I'm picking up on the others. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it, it was his action of doing the big kids smell. Yeah, I, 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 I remember being a little kid, and this one guy who kept being made fun of, and they were like, you smell like an old man. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing. <laughs> All right? <laughs> He's like, I'll get you. Uh, <laughs> I think an old man in my kindergarten class. <laughs> so wait, that was just a disabled person you were making? It might have been. I think it was Benjamin Button. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe that's what it was. <laughs> He's worked his way backwards. Uh, this guy's a yard monster. Is Benjamin Button disease a, is that a disability? It's an actual disease. It is an actual disease. No. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I saw the movie Jack, and that's like the other way. So I believe. So if you can go from one way, it has to be able to go the other way. I mean, it just grows. It's so old, man. Whoa! So weird. You really own that part. Yeah, backwards. That's a good pitch meeting. This documentary, Babies, that was also the same. <laughs> they're babies that are born as babies. Isn't there one that, that new movie? Boy, boyhood, right? Isn't that a new movie? It's, like, it's the whole guy's life. Like, it's one guy and he plays like his whole life. It just came out. It's a real thing. Starring, starring James Carey? Because I feel like I've seen that already. Or, uh, sorry, James. James, 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 James Carey. Yeah, that's it. James. That's James. So, that's who it is. That's, that's who it is. Yeah, did, you, did you watch the whole movie until the uh, hip hop album came along? <laughs> yeah. That kind of dozed off a little bit. It was past my bedtime. That's the after the credit secret scene. Yeah. Yeah. They're, all, they're, all eating, they're all eating falafel and yeah. they're rapping. Yeah. As rappers are known to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't trust a man who smells like that. Yeah. It's like a hint of pomegranate. It's more than a hint of pomegranate. I slather pomegranate all over me. I got seeds stuck in my armpits because I'm trying. That's disgusting. No, it's about confidence. You gotta carry. You gotta carry a scent. I got a cinnamon stick stuck between my big toe. I got <laughs> cardamom pops. I'm popping uh, right now. You can't even see it. Who? Uh, who farted over here? <laughs> this is. Uh, it's confidence, man. I just put some. Potpourri is what that is. That's kind of what that is. I just, what's the problem? Anyway, I, I need to work here. You need to give me this job. It's just scent, scent overload. It's like I'm working in a Yankee Candle factory. <laughs> Yankee Candle, as a matter of fact. Hold on one second. I think I have. There we go. Apple cinnamon. Just smell that. Smell that. Smells like me, right? Pretty much. Pretty it smells much everything like smells like confidence. It smells like persistence. It smells like teen spirit. <laughs> you know who produced that? I think they know a good thing. <laughs> uh, the test came back. Your son is aging very quickly. Like a day per day. <laughs> Your son started as a baby. He is changing into something completely different. <laughs> I have seen something like this many times before. It is weird. We did, all, we did everything we were supposed to. You've been feeding him? 
We can feed them. That's yes. the problem. Oh, but the dog. Will you feed them? They dad, dad, I want to go play baseball. Son. What's wrong, dad? It's, it's just, you're growing up so fast. Oh, thanks, dad. And I hate it. <laughs> what? No. I hate it. I'm a grown boy. I eat you all know, my Wheaties. I need you to stop. I, all right, I'll admit it. He's not yours. <laughs> He's not yours. I, I can't hide it any longer. He's aging at a completely normal process, and I just I can't hide it from you anymore. You remember Bill from the garbage dump? Yeah, him. Bill? Yeah. The man with reverse Benjamin Button's disease. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You should have known. You should have. All the signs were there. How could you tell him about my condition? <laughs> Honey, I'm proud of you and I want other people to I've be. been hiding that condition for 66 years. <laughs> people need to celebrate you. You are a living marvel. I don't want them to know why I look like a 66-year-old man. <laughs> real dad? Yes, real son. <laughs> you look terrible. Is that what I'm going to look like when I yes, go Yes, it's inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> now hug your no! old, old man. No, it's just all saggy flesh! <laughs> <laughs> so I got this idea for this new documentary. Okay, let me just listen to my pitch. Listen to my pitch. It's 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 the Civil War, but backwards. It's all completely in reverse. Ken Burns had killed it with the Civil War documentary. We're gonna kill it again. So we're just gonna go backwards. So, the un-America. The un-America. <laughs> the the raw living is what I'm gonna call it. Our audience is ready for the un America. I'm not seeing you picking up the fact that. Let's see this documentary. I'll narrate it. <laughs> In 1865, at Appomattox, <laughs> war exploded between two men having a disagreement. <laughs> I don't think audiences are going to get this. <laughs> They're going to get it. They signed the papers that started the war, then ran away, and started bringing each other to life. This is like memento! Thousands of men rose from the battlefields, waking up as if they were slumbering, their blood pouring back into their bodies. What is this, Christina Ricci's Casper? Something terrible happened, and Americans started keeping slaves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I'm here uh, to see the president. I'm a, I'm James. You might have heard of me. You're James. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm, I'm new here, and so don't. It's not you. It's me. I'm just looking through the appointment book. Are you, uh, James Brown? No, I don't make appointments. Uh, everyone has an appointment. No, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll call you later, Michelle. Where, I, I heard James was here. James was here. Sir. Where is James? Are you he telling me you did not tell the president that James was here? I was going through the book. He just, I just, I didn't know which James oh, was Oh, you're fired. There, there are 17 Jameses in this book. <laughs> no, like page one. The cover of this book is James. <laughs> Let James in when he's here. Yeah, no, James left. Yeah, it's, it's disappointing. Now Michelle's going to be pissed at him. She's going to make me exercise. <laughs> you got fired. Why are you still here? I'm telling you, Vladimir. <laughs> they just don't respect me over there. Looking for respect? I don't look for it. You demand find respect? No, it just finds me. You find respect? I just kind of wander. Well, if you, if you wander for respect, Sometimes respect is gonna miss you. Well, what the hell, respect? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm right here. Classic respect. <laughs> Disrespecting somebody who deserves it. What you need to do is run into respect. Well, where is he? Huh? <laughs> Show me. Give me his. Give me his address. I'll call him up. There you are. <laughs> I thought we were going to do it too wet. Hey, listen, all right, we are, right? We're going to do my song this time. We're not doing the Soviet National Anthem, the KGB fight song. We're not doing any of those things. We're going to this sound my song. This sounds like disrespect. <laughs> no, where's your brother? My brother? 
Hey, Dizzy. Yeah, there he is. You guys, <laughs> you guys, you guys. <laughs> all you emotional states look alike. You guys are all just the worst. <laughs> just the worst. There you go. So you thought you had a bad with me, but there you go. Wait, Wait you know, my sister comes on. Misrespect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that they're all worse than the last. You think one of them will respect you, but it's because you're not running into them. Alright. Alright. <laughs> 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 P-E-C-D. Don't. Yeah. Somebody tell you what it means to me. Somebody ask for disrespect. Uh, don't. <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> yeah, this is the strangest bar I've ever sat and ordered drinks in. Yeah, they don't even have waiters. You just yell words in the air and they assume that's what you want. It's very strange. I came here to get away from sob stories and your fascist daughter. <laughs> Do you forget about her? <laughs> oh, no, she's very much a part of my mind. I, well, I, I find it offensive that you label her without having, having met her. I mean... She did write a pro-fascist anthem. She may not know how to spell fascism, but she was for it, it sounded like. That's true. I have, I have painted her in kind of a negative light. No, she painted herself in a negative light being pro-fascism. It's true. Daddy, Daddy! It's unfair! I wanted to see the Hitlers this weekend! I got the tickets! I did my schoolwork! Don't be such a... Trash... Trashist! Oh, you really are a shitty parent letting your daughter into a bar. I know she's 35, but she's a fascist. Alright, it's time for the roll call. Brian Van Houten, do you see foreign gear, foreign giving, defend giving, state call Eno? Are you here? Yeah, for. Okay. Timothy Van Duergerheimer, Shingeving Smith, Johnson, Gohansen, Gohansen, Bohansen, are you here? Oh, 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 junior or senior? Senior. <laughs> oh, <laughs> senior. Oh, oh, so that's me. Here. Timothy Johansen, Bohansen, Bohansen, Smith, Bridget. Junior! Oh, okay. Please get in line. Ralph! Yep, hey, Ralph. <laughs> Here we go. Andrea Smith, Johnson, Johansson, Smith, Smith, Smith. <laughs> oh, Connor, uh, Balzac, are you here? Sorry, that's that's my maiden name. <laughs> <laughs> What's your full name? With a hyphenated. Oh, it's. Uh, Anson Smith, the. Fred's here! Fred's here! Fred's here! Fred's here! Alright, we're gonna do something different now. You guys have some cards in your hands? Has anyone ever seen Whose Line Is It Anyway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! We're gonna play a game called Party Clucks, but we're gonna, they play it, the way they play it, it's stupid simple, right? <laughs> They're like, oh, this guy always has a lid. Oh, this guy's ears are inflatable. And somebody has to guess it, right? We're gonna send somebody out of the room we're going to take three of these guys, we're going to give them one of the, you guys are going to read some of your cards. We're going to bring Matt back into the room, and he has to guess what they are. We're going to, have you looked at your cards yet? Has anyone looked at your cards? Yes. Yeah. 
Matthew. You can look at your comments. So, Matt, you go away. You go away. Bye, Matt. Bye, Matt. Bye, Matt. Bye, Matt. Right? Bye, Matt. Let's, <laughs> let's try this. Mark, why don't you come up? We need a card. So who's, who's got a good card in your hand? Okay, Ruthie, what do you got? Like a marshmallow. Like a marshmallow. Okay. So now when Matt comes back, Mark has to just hint around at that until Matt says something that's very similar to like a marshmallow. Uh, uh, let's go with Dennis. Dennis, come on up. Can I have a card for Dennis? Start with the finale. Start with the finale. <laughs> okay. Oh, so we have like a marshmallow and start with the finale. Anybody got oh, a yeah. long one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What do you got? The end is nigh. Really oh, we did that one last week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. No, I don't want to do the same one again. We'll use the same things. And Boil it all down to the essence. Boil it all down to the essence. Okay? So let's do it again. Like a marshmallow. Start with the finale. Boil it all down to the essence. So when that gets close, B says essence. Why would he? We go like this. We snap when he's close. When he makes a guess and he's wrong, we all go. So he knows it's all. And when he gets it, we explode in applause and orgasm because there's no way he's ever going to get any of these. But we're just going to give it a try. We'll see how close he gets. Okay? What kind of party uh, is Matt having? House warming. House warming party. Gentlemen. House warming party. It's a healthy pup. Yeah. I'm a little sensitive. Oh, I'm sorry. I could have been sweeter there. This is great. This is great. Yeah, I made uh, made my sweet potatoes. Oh. Uh, oh. I, I, it's a family recipe. Oh. I use uh, brown Is anything sugar, else in there? Uh, marshmallows. Oh. Uh, 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 you remind me of those. So, um, the girlfriend's not coming, or? Oh, no, no. no. She's oh. got a campfire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on in. Hey! And we lived happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got you a going away present. <laughs> Wonderful. Nice. I needed uh, one of these. I, I, I knew uh, you would. And that's the last they ever spoke. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a story. <laughs> like a campfire story. Can I put this down? Put it down like a paperweight. Uh, yeah, come on in. Just... Uh, so, look, I, I need some room on your stove. Uh, yeah, I, I just finished, I, I I just finished, finished using it. Uh, I'll just take the pots off. No, no, I, I'm going to need that. You're going to need my dirty pots? <laughs> I need a container. All right. All right. Hey, 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 Matt, I don't mean to be rude. I was a little disappointed there weren't fireworks on the way in. I mean, <laughs> that's just that's what I'm used to. I'm sorry. After last year's party, the fire marshal came by this morning. And it was like a disaster. <laughs> that's what it was like. <laughs> uh, can I offer you a plate of yams? <laughs> potatoes are like yams. Oh, anyway. They're, yams are like sweet potatoes. <laughs> sweet potatoes are like yams. Most people get them confused. So. <laughs> 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 How's, how's things at uh, where, where you work? Uh, you no, know, puffy toasty. <laughs> I mean, you don't have Lucky to bring. You know what? Food. You don't have to bring work into the party all the time. You know, you asked us how work was. Just because you're. I mean, you might have five. Human marshmallow. Yeah. yeah. Similar to one. Similar to a yeah. human marshmallow. I would say. Uh, 
pretty much. Um, <laughs> yams like, are like sweet potatoes, right? <laughs> You're like a, like, like a ghost. Oh. I don't agree with the ghost part. <laughs> Cut that out. And say what you just said. You're a marshmallow. Well, I'm similar to that. <laughs> I like those yams. You're always changing positions. No, I work. I, don't, I really like you. Yeah, I'm. I like you too in the things you're like. <laughs> <laughs> honey, oh. honey, how did you how did you leave him here boiling the water? I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting for the shampoo. I trusted you. <laughs> You're like a child. He's gonna scald somebody. Watch him. Are you? Are you? Jeez, you're like you're like some I, kind of acid. I can fix this. I just need your shampoo. What am I like? <laughs> <laughs> you're like a marsh. Yeah! <laughs> Write a book, and my editor, he's all like, just, you know, start at the end. You know, life isn't a fairy tale. You got that? <laughs> um, oh, guys, here, um, we're going to start tonight with dessert. Okay, so oh, we'll start with perfect. Dessert, and then we'll work our way to the entree and the appetizers. Absolutely okay. perfect. For you, Thank especially. You. Thank you. I hope you don't mind. I ordered for everyone. Hey, I'm returning your copy of Benjamin Button. Thank you. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the very end of the movie, though. So if you watch it, it's going to be there. Got it. Yeah. Why, Sorry. Why would you start at the end? It's going to look like oh! a... Oh! Well, I got to go back. <laughs> why, why would you ever do that? Why would you, why would you begin where things have finished? I know. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's like the finish line, only it's more like a crescendo, you know? Like, yeah! <laughs> but in like Italian almost, right? When something's... Yeah. 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 Ends of it. Yeah. yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. It's like you walk, you walk straight in at the beginning and, oh. and just move to the climax. Climatico! <laughs> 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 We went for dessert at that place in Harvard Square. It was so delicious. I, just, I can't remember the name of that restaurant. It's, it's bothering me. I'll go look it up on Foursquare. Um, you. He's, he's been really disappointed since that tasting menu let him down. I mean, he tried everything. He tried Claire's. He tried cupcakes. He tried cakes. And just nothing satisfied him. This is my wife. Fine, Allie, I'm coming home. <laughs> uh, you're always Allie in the... <laughs> There's always the alien. next course the is end. shark fin Ooh. soup. Oh, I wait. hope you like got the fins in the alley. Yeah, I have an ale that will go with that really well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fin, uh, fin ale. ale. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very special. Oh, Try that. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> But I'd like to see you do that amateur orchestra thing. Starting with the finale. Yeah! Yeah! Thank you for coming. Are you still here? I'm going to scald your pot unless I get some of your shampoo, that, uh, that herbal stuff you use. <laughs> Why are you always cl cleaning? <laughs> pot cleaning. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to get it down to just when you have just a little bit left. And it's just you're just cooking and cooking, you're just scouring hair products. <laughs> <laughs> yes. right. Constantly scouring hair products in my house. Uh, honey, make me a poached egg. I want a poached egg. <laughs> you are clearly putting vinegar in my water. <laughs> Something is burning, I can tell, because I'm using my essence. <laughs> 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 Are you an herbal essences chef by any chance? Where's your bathroom? I have, I have to, I have, I have a boil. I have to land. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's right, it's, it's right over there, there, just past okay. the kitchen. It's oh yeah, this pot of water that's right here that's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no yep. just put some of the shampoo. Oh so put yeah, the, yeah, put yeah. the boil the down. Herbal the herbal stuff. Put the boil yeah, down. Put the, 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 the boil into the yeah. essence. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> 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 Just a boiling herbal. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I just don't like to do it a pie, you know? You gotta, you know, you gotta bring it low. Get right to the core. Honey, I'm thinking about putting on some music. It's that Fall Out Boy song. It's called, like, Sugar, I'm Going. I don't remember the lap, end of the song. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it on. Sure, I'm going somewhere. Uh, I don't remember it. Sure, I'm... Um, could, could you just run uh, downstairs to the basement and uh, bring up some of that extra shampoo? <laughs> Go to the cellar where it's lower. Yes. I got it. I'll get some shampoo. Man, I just, I'm going to put this on and skip right to the end like like our friend always does. <laughs> <laughs> and listen to the... Oh, man, I, hey, I came back up with oh, the shampoo you want. great. This uh, uh, herbal stuff will be just what we needed. <laughs> I remember this part. It goes, uh, Why do we have this music on? I want to watch Young Frankenstein with Gene Wilder and Peter, um, Peter, uh, I don't remember his last name. Uh, can I herbal essence you a <laughs> Look, why don't you just, why don't you just sit? Alright, I'll have a seat. How, how, how are you going to sit? Just with my... <laughs> 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 sit -ups. Are you going to be doing any sit-ups? No, I'll sit down. I will... I will... I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to sit down with an essence. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh god, this, this wound that I just landed. <laughs> shampoo real low and I got my wound into the shampoo and I was low and I had to go way low to get into it. <laughs> I know yeah. what you mean. It worked though. It's all gone. Yeah, look. Wow, it's like you it's never there. So what did I do? Could you how would you really describe what I did? I, I put my you wound took your, uh, yeah, lower you... into the shampoo. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, you know that, right? Oh, I just thought of a joke. <laughs> but, uh, Sure, it was, it was about that. Uh, oh, good. Well, I'll just tell you the punchline. <laughs> yes, yeah. There's a uh, uh, down. <laughs> no, no uh, it must have started with my head wound that I had that I, I lanced oh, earlier. Bo yeah, 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 yeah. I know yeah. you jumped, so keep going. It's uh, boiled down the essence. Yeah! Yes! 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 <laughs> Did you feel it? I felt it. I absolutely <laughs> felt it. That was awesome. Oh, I need a cigarette. Um, okay, now we're going to do this, uh, uh, it's the third piece, this thing is called the Eno, and we're, we're going to use these cards. We're going to do a little video to explain what the cards are, and then we're just going to jump right into the video. Okay? What do you think, Joe? Yeah. Eno, as powerful and omniscient as he is, has at times struggled from writer's block. He would get only so far into a project and find himself at a loss as to how to continue. Eno and his friends, who had also experienced this problem, devised a tool to break through writer's block. They compiled a set of unrelated words, phrases, and aphorisms and placed each one on its own index card. Now, when stymied in the creative process, Eno would pull a card from the deck. The cards would read something like infinitesimal gradations, or humanize something free from error, or organic machinery, or even simply water. He would use it as inspiration to move ahead in a different direction, thus allowing him to complete their works. He named these cards Oasis. Read me what one of your cards says. He knows your secret. He knows Ooh, your secret. That's a you don't look a day older than when I last saw you. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a gluten free diet. <laughs> oh, wait, I know what he's doing. He's Benjamin Button. Hey, he's looking younger every day. No, man. Listen. Yeah, yeah. I got a lot of crap for that. Back when I was an old man in grade school. <laughs> 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 Alright, give me another card, give me another card. What do you got? Always or never. Hmm? Always or never. Always, Always or, or never. never. Well, which of you is which of you is Bill? <laughs> which of you? Uh I'm Bill. Bill. <laughs> 
That one sounded really apprehensive. <laughs> <laughs> Have you always been Bill? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I think I'm going to believe him because he didn't say maybe. But or now he's uh, not. <laughs> hey, Bill, so it works out that, that we can actually separate you, okay? <laughs> but that means one of you is going to have to be Bill and the other one's not going to have to be Bill, anymore, right? Can we go with that? Only one bill. Jeez, bill. <laughs> bill. Yes. Bill. I yes. only have one rose to give. <laughs> <laughs> and I've spent so much time with both of you. Not by choice. <laughs> but I've enjoyed it. And it was hard to make this decision. But after this commercial break, <laughs> I'll be happy to choose. Was, was that good? <laughs> Let's get a new card from the back there. Uh, first time caller. First time first call yeah. caller. <laughs> I never do this. Oh, uh, no, his sex lines were creepy the first time. <laughs> burr, 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 burr. <laughs> That's actually on the radio. <laughs> uh, at least this one's toll free. Yeah, no, it's free. We make all our money off of advertising. Okay. So. Let's hit the horn a few more times. Crash whitening! Bam, 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 bam! Yeah. So, uh, what are you wearing? <laughs> I'm not wearing anything. Oh, oh I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at work. You like that? Yeah, you too. I'm at work, just looking, just looking to play a song. Mm, it's not what we do here. <laughs> <laughs> All work, no play makes Johnny a dull boy. Dull boy, dull boy. I can, I can go to the bathroom. I mean, wherever you want to. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. Go to the bathroom. Just take your pants off when you get there, and then we'll really ring, get ring, started. Ring, 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 ring. Well, is is someone intercepting my call? <laughs> Interception! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got a party line here. <laughs> Hi, am I on the air? Yeah? <laughs> a long time caller, first time listener. What? There goes the card. <laughs> Reuse your first thought. <laughs> I think we should add more buttons. <laughs> and, uh, I think we should add more buttons. I think we should add more buttons. <laughs> Fire button up for you. <laughs> you know, you don't look a day older than I saw you. Must be that gluten free diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> no, wait. Something else. I can't put my finger on it, but I bet someone else The did. Civil War started in Appomattox <laughs> in Small, but intense. <laughs> I don't think people will get this. <laughs> Matt! Guys, you want to do an Eno tonight? <laughs> Let's get a new card. Joe, give us a card. Oh, good. Respect the stand. Respect the stand? Bill, Bill, 
I have one record contract. <laughs> <laughs> but only one of you can be signed. I'll leave it here, and the two of you can decide who's earned this. Is that good? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, a little over there on the end. Okay. <laughs> 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 you promised I would be okay. No, that's not a good scene, Nick. I caught you! I just started doing something. <laughs> you know this is a comp ticket, right? I'm sorry. Make it funny. I'm a doctor! You're a patient! Oh. Someone has to justify this somehow. <laughs> oh. But there are ants all over me! Oh. Make it work! Make it work. I have a, a saw, if you want it to be I a saw. I sure! Oh. Let's saw you! Oh, oh, I'm a bad that. doctor! That was the joke all along! Oh, I get it. Let's get another guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, do that. Uh, there are lots of cars laying around to grab anywhere you want. Reveal the grand design. Reveal the grand design. That's how a latte is different from a cappuccino. <laughs> Bill, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> now you tell me what you see from the game design. Oh, I did tell latte. Do you have the grande to sign up? This is the grande to sign up. I tell you! Another card is there, please. Aim high. Aim high. Aim high. Aim high. I want to. I want to be a police officer, Dad. Son, this is a criminal family. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just want to be above everyone. <laughs> you know that means you'd have to lock up your old pa. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> I wouldn't like that very much. <laughs> Did it, Dad? I roughed up my first snitch. <laughs> Make me proud, not like your. That's it, you're your brother. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do that. I won't tell him nothing, Dad! I won't tell him nothing! Gwen, what do you got? Heaps and piles for miles. Heaps and piles for miles. <laughs> well, we gotta bury another dead body. <laughs> <laughs> This is like the Civil War, but backwards. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get the record if we don't keep track of the go number. Back and get the Guinness guy back in. Why did that mean you can't we committed a war crime? <laughs> Which one of you guys is named Miles? Because you're in some deep shit. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, give me another one. Let the co pilot fly the plane. Let the co pilot fly the plane. Hello, Luke. Do you want to drive? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just grab onto the wheel and I'm going to do the pedals, okay? Okay. All right, now don't. I'm the fucking floor is. Oh my god! Dad, that can't be the hell! Dad, no! Dad, Dad, no! Dad, Dad, why would you. This is that road in San Francisco! No, no, really? No, no, why no, why no, would you do no, that? No, that no, is it's the worst idea! Oh, if you do this, you're going to drive for great for the rest of your life! Oh, you're terrible! No, I'm great! I'm the best parent that's ever happened! Look at my dad's room! Really fast. Thank you. <laughs> what seems to be the problem? The, the problem is you're not driving fast enough. Wow, San Francisco's a lot more relaxing. Than that. <laughs> I don't want to drive any faster. Oh, too bad. Here we go. No! No! Oh God! Have another one, Gibble. You're alive. You're alive. So I took this job in the morgue because I figured, what's the worst that could happen? 
You could know? start a, a, what do you call it? I can get a pulse. Yeah. I'm gonna get fired. All I'm supposed to do is cut a big Y incision in this guy, pull out his internal organs, weigh them, stuff them back, sew them up, sew his eyes down, <laughs> drain the blood from his body, remove his viscera. Please don't I need do to talk that. to you. <laughs> Why are you weighing internal organs and putting them back in? I'm going for the record. I just that's, really need to... That's not your job. That's, no, well, it's incredibly I, invasive. It has was, nothing to do with this work. Ladies, no, come back here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the record for the biggest internal organ ever. Found inside of a dead guy. We have Matt, who has completed it. Thank you. What was the organ that you found? It was an entire person that was instead an actual... Yeah, no, so I wait, think it was an organ. So it was wait, one... There was like a, a twin inside that they consumed <laughs> to convert? <laughs> but but everyone exactly, was exactly the same size. I'm the organ who was inside. And everyone... <laughs> See? I was still alive. <laughs> the whole time. Inside. I think this still counts. This does you count. You do still have the record. But you have to share it with him. Skin is the largest organ in the human body. <laughs> hey guys. Right here. Yeah. 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 Card. <laughs> Some kind of card. Blow everything out of the corner. <laughs> yeah. That's all I am, huh? I'm just a I'm just a name on a just a name on a card, huh? That's all I am to you. You are a living piece of art, so you can have a fire. It's a very nice little piece of description about it. It's a guy who's dissatisfied with being a piece of art. And you're really, you're really a guy. That's the best you can come up with. You, you take all the time. Yeah, no, I got him right here. No, Mr. Wahlberg, we thought you'd be excited about the lead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everything about your career is kind of depleting at this moment. You're the face of franchise now. <laughs> I am really excited. I'd like to see Mark Wahlberg in every movie ever made. We're going to start with... Uh, Connecticut Yankee and King Arthur's <laughs> Your Mark Wahlberg is the Connecticut Yankee. Everyone else is medieval King Arthur's Sword. All right, oh. my lord. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> I'm just uh, here in the court. We're just going to get started here, do some King Arthur. Where's, where's the king? Am I late for the jousting? Oh, hey. How's it going? Right on nice court. jousting. Nice lands. I don't think anyone's gonna get this. All right, I know, I know. Let's make it a courtroom drama. It's a courtroom drama, and Mark Wahlberg is the judge. <laughs> Your Honor, I'm innocent. You're out of order, ma'am. <laughs> but don't be so funky. <laughs> <laughs> one more, one more. Mark Wahlberg is in a spaghetti western. It's the final duel. <laughs> All right. All right. You, you L.A. silly slicker piece of shit. I'm gonna shoot you with my six shooter till you're dead from bullets. I also have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I hate you so much. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't really care for you right now. Let's cut to a romantic comedy and the very big touching scene where um, Mark Wahlberg is confessing his deep love. They've just gotten back together. I yeah. love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Your inner voice knows. All right. You're the only one that listens to me, Wayne. <laughs> Tell a joke! Uh. Welcome to existential ventriloquism. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is... <laughs> really, who is the puppet? <laughs> Who is the ventriloquist? Who's speaking? Oh. <laughs> and what is he saying? <laughs> is he 
the where? For <laughs> the watcher. Dad, why did you bring these people to my birthday? <laughs> because that is Bill. You do not say no to Bill. Bill, you guys are finally getting something out. <laughs> we we, we like to switch it out sometimes. Well, some of you are still connected. That's fine. <laughs> We're connected <laughs> by, by a sack of skin, skin in the largest organ. organ. And, and we, we move around, around in a bag of skin. <laughs> well, as long as that's consistent, <laughs> now and forever. <laughs> Let's have another cut. <laughs> Whip dream. What? Whip dream. Whip dream. Whip dream. Oh. <laughs> I just had a vision that I was like falling forever. <laughs> this is all a vision. You got like three eyes. Yes, and it's 1882. What happens if you eat this? <laughs> <laughs> Is it like Inception now? <laughs> What's it like when a dream dreams? It feels like my brain is exploding. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> now you're a hamster. Water. <laughs> now I can shoot it at my hands. <laughs> Cause it's a dream. <laughs> I feel like you're getting younger. I feel like you're getting older. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> no, he just keeps making that hissing noise. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Eddie, that's the worst pet you've ever gotten. What's the matter, Dad? He's dreaming. Oh, Want some more ice cream? <laughs> Make it stop. Tammy will hit it with us. He's real. <laughs> no, you Have any of oh, you guys seen my insulation foam? Alright, time for lightning round. Lightning round, gentlemen. Ready? Okay. Yes. Pro or con? Pro! Con! Pro! Con! Good! Pro! Con! Next! Find the pattern. <laughs> Two. Pro! White. Four. <laughs> Who do I believe? Who do I believe? <laughs> Ding. <laughs> Tear off the band-aid. <laughs> it's gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. I don't believe it. <laughs> Press the digitation. Press one for more. <laughs> <laughs> Consistent and inconsistent. <laughs> Insinuation only. Yeah, I seen you out there. Yeah, you were doing the thing. Uh huh. Uh huh. Don't, don't even bring that in here. No. No, no, no. Oh, I don't like where this is going. No, no, no. You gotta keep that outside. He's, he's, no, not in the house. Oh, God damn it. You should get that through the door. Ding. <laughs> we never know. Um, security check. You look good. This isn't a flirting thing, it's a go, just go. <laughs> Screw you. You look good. No, I'm here for the pat down. You look good. No, just, you should check. <laughs> oh, you said this wasn't about flirting! <laughs> he demanded a pat down. Empaths <laughs> and psychopaths. <laughs> oh, this town's not big enough for the both of us. Well, come, come, yeah, come through. It's like come we're going to have to put our silly hats on. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to take the scalpel collection out of my suitcase, or can I leave it in? She's got too many journals. <laughs> Ding! Do you want to touch Go my crotch? Go back in time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think people are going to get this! Small and intense. Thank you very much, guys! That is the end of our show. I really appreciate you guys coming out. I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, we have shows at Improv Boston five nights a week. Uh, come back. Most of them have more people in it. Um, 
We also, if you look at us and go, I can do that, God, that's, that's what that is. We have uh, classes in uh, sketch writing, improv, musical improv, stand-up, HVAC repair, Cantonese <laughs> cooking, macrame, all sorts of things. And you can find everything you need on improvboston.com. And we really hope you guys come back again. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good night. <laughs>